Welcome to our Daily Rosary Meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Once there was a brother and a sister. The brother's name was Lazarus, and the sister's name was Mary. We don't know much about their lives before they met Jesus. Many of the church fathers, such as Augustine, Jerome, John Chrysostom, and Gregory the Great, say that the sister of Martha and Lazarus is Mary Magdalene, from whom Jesus drove out seven demons. But the main thing we do know is that they were both deeply devoted to Jesus. We know they were his friends, but we also know something about their debt to Jesus because we know that Christ rescued both of them. We know that Jesus actually rescued Lazarus from death itself. And we know that Jesus rescued his sister, Mary, from something much, much worse than death. When we meditate on this brother and sister, we come to know exactly why Christ came as Savior and what that means for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. What did Jesus come to do? He is God incarnate. That means he is all-powerful. So if he wanted, he could have come to cure all sickness, to end all physical death, all poverty, all military oppression. Sure, he cured a few people with leprosy, but he could have eradicated all disease. Yes, he miraculously fed 5,000, but he could have fed 5 million or 5 billion or just ended hunger forever. He knocked down the temple guards with a word, but he could have toppled every corrupt government in the world with that same word. But he didn't. Because he didn't come to save us from these secondary evils. He came to save us from the primary evil. 
He came to save us from our own sinfulness. And the reason for his miracles over worldly problems was to show his power over spiritual problems. Just before he heals the lame man, he says, This is so you may know that the Son of Man has power to forgive sin. Jesus' physical power is the sign of his spiritual power. And that's especially true of the miracles where he brought the dead to life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. There were three people Jesus brought back from the dead before his own resurrection. Jairus' daughter, who had just died, in a sense, she was barely dead. Then the widow's son, where Jesus interrupts the funeral procession and brings the corpse back to life. That guy had been dead longer. They were actually on their way to bury him. But the third person Jesus brought back to life was Lazarus, the brother of Mary Magdalene, and he had been really dead four days. He was so dead, there was a smell from his decomposing body. Now, St. Augustine tells us that these three resurrections were performed to illustrate for us the three levels of sin from which Christ can heal us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed 
art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mm. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jairus' daughter had only been dead a little while, and some sins we just fall into for a little while, maybe even just once, momentarily. Well, Jesus can heal us from those sins. The widow's son had been dead a lot longer. They were taking him to the cemetery. And some sins, we've been doing them a lot longer, and they are beginning to have a real lethal effect on our souls. They're taking us to a really bad place. Well, okay, Jesus can save us from those sins too. But Lazarus, he was dead and decomposing. If you had seen his body then, it might have been hard to know what he looked like when he was alive. And some of us have sins that are so deep and have been with us so long that we might not even be able to imagine what we would look like without them. Those were the sins of Mary of Magdala a woman possessed by seven demons. Now, demons can't possess you against your will. So she had to do something pretty bad to let them in. We don't know exactly what that was. But if anyone had ever given up hope of being spiritually healed, it might have been her. But Jesus healed her. He cast out the demons and gave her back her dignity, and he turned her into a saint. This is the message of Lazarus and his sister Mary. Jesus brought the decomposing corpse back to life, and he brought the twisted, demonic soul of the Magdalene to heroic holiness. So think, what can he do for you? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. In Lazarus and Mary Magdalene, Jesus shows us that there is no healing he cannot accomplish. He will raise our dead bodies back to life on the last day, but he offers us spiritual healing now. So what is your deepest vice, your deepest resentment or wound or addiction or disordered attachment? Can you just not stop eating? Do you drink to ease the pain or pressure of your life? Do you suffer from envy or gossiping or looking lustfully at women? Can you just not stop trying to impress other people or worrying about what their opinion is or worrying about your finances? Can you not stop being angry at your spouse or kids? These are all sins. These are all forms of spiritual death and corruption. But the good news is, they aren't you. You don't have to be that way. Because Jesus has the power to forgive your sins and heal you. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He cast the demons out of Mary Magdalene. He can certainly make a saint out of you. So don't stop asking him to do exactly that. In fact, he's waiting for you right now in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Yes, he's disguised to look like a Catholic priest, but it's really Jesus you will meet there. Go to him. He came to heal you, to drive out your demons. He came to raise you from the dead. Don't you hear him calling? Lazarus, come out. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So what were you reflecting on? I had this image that, you know, when a, when a person has physical leprosy, hmm. uh, your, your physical body literally starts to rot and stink and fall off. I mean, it's horrible. Thank God we have cure for it today. But leprosy was really horrible. And it's amazing. I think Jesus chose to heal lepers precisely to give us a really good image mm. of our spiritual illness because I feel like I am a spiritual leper. I feel like a leper and I I can't smell myself. <laughs> and... I know my body parts are falling off, but I try to hide it with the different clothes I wear. Mm -hmm. And everyone around me knows, dude, you smell really bad. You look really bad. Is this still a metaphor? It's still a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, the, and everyone's like, there's a cure for this. Mm. And that cure is confession, regular confession. The cure for our sin is regular confession. Mm -hmm. But we're all in this, I think what we suffer from in this age is achadia, sloth, and by that I mean indifference. Mm -hmm. And the willful lack of awareness, I'd say, to some degree. Yes. Or at some point, it's hard to see, and that can be a really difficult thing to overcome ourselves. I mean, obviously, that's a, it's a great fear, Uh to be unaware of something that's deeply impacting your relationships with others and with God. But also the difficulty of not knowing how to approach it with others because we've lost a lot of the the leeway for fraternal correction. Yeah, exactly. Because we've lost friendship. And friendship is the place, the way you gain trust to give fraternal correction. Mm -hmm. But there's a line, sin diminishes sight. The more we have the habit of sin, the more blind we become to our own sin yeah. and to the truth. And so at first, it's we think, well, I should go to confession, but I can't really think of anything I need to confess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have found that when I go to confession once a month, I start to become aware. I see more. Mm -hmm. And then... When I make the habit of going to confession every week, I really begin to see. Mm -hmm. Because knowing we have to, knowing we're going to confession, we get more serious about our examination of conscience. Mm -hmm. And then we think, wait a minute, I know I'm going to be going to confession. I don't want to have to confess that thing. Yeah. I mean, it's also a, a direct example of it would be like 
cleaning your house or cleaning your room, if you've got junk all over your house, you can't even see the dirt or the mold underneath it. So you're never going to get down to the, that level of mess. Because you've always got your clothes all over the floor and yesterday's trash and yeah. cups and dishes and food. And until you deal with that level of mess and you're constantly picking those things up, you're not really going to do a deep clean. And we all need a deep clean, but we need to get in the daily habit of cleaning. Otherwise, the mess is always too much for us. So what do we... I think this is a great analogy. What do we do when we're... It's just... the. What do we do when the mess is overwhelming? Sometimes I feel like the only thing you can do is burn your house down. <laughs> <laughs> New house. <laughs> Which but, is not the answer. So... For many of us, the thought of going to confession is overwhelming. Mm. How do we start? For one thing, you can start in little areas. B, you can ask other people for help. You can also ask, quite honestly, hey, essentially, is there anything you've noticed that I, I could be doing? Give people the, the leeway for fraternal correction, which is a big step. Man, that's dangerous. It's I dangerous. don't know if that's where I'd want to start. <laughs> Well, I don't think it's half bad. Uh, no, I think it's actually a very good idea. That takes a lot of courage. I think it'd be an interesting... I'm, I'm not saying this is something I do often, but I think it'd be very interesting to start doing in relationships. How could I be a better friend? Okay. I, 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 I agree. So, Teresa, <laughs> how do you think I could be a better dad and a better friend? <laughs> I think you're already doing pretty well when you make pies on Sunday. <laughs> oh, come on. You're letting me way off the hook. I have no complaints to make. I'm so genuine about that. Oh, you got to go to confession for lying. I'll, go. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll think about it deeply. If you, you tell me. You have to go to confession for lying. I, th I think you would probably tell me to be more on time. No, that would be the, that, that would be the least. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally kidding. What would, what would you say a good start is? I'm getting too tied down to my metaphor. So, so maybe what, what is your best approach to approaching the mess of our own souls well i think if we have if a person hasn't been to confession for a long time i think the uh, best place to start is with the commandments mm -hmm. take a look at the ten commandments if you know you've uh, broken one of the ten commandments you should confess that and i think the next level down we should look is at the seven deadly sins because those are the roots of all of our sin and we should look at what we've done or failed to do that was bad. And then, I should say that again, what we've done that's bad and what, when we failed to do what's right. <laughs> uh, and then look at, why did I do that? Was it vanity or envy or greed or lust or what was it? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, so, and confess that. Because so then we get to the roots so I think those are two good places to start, the commandments and the seven deadly sins. Yeah. But the biggest thing is just start. Yeah. Because yeah. it's our fear of confession that keeps us away. And the more you go, the more you realize, the more you experience. I'm sure there are many out there who have, who have experienced this. I've experienced it where... I go to confession after absolution. When I walk out, I literally feel lighter mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because the guilt of our sin is crushing us. And I feel lighter. I feel the weight of guilt lifted. Yeah, you feel free. You feel free. And the more we go, the more we experience that and the more we don't want to carry the weight of our guilt mm -hmm. and we want to get rid of it. Yeah. I think upon reflection, I'd say my biggest piece of advice for both physical cleaning and spiritual cleaning is that we go about our days as if we can just clean with our free time. Like, oh, whatever little time I'll just like happen to pass by and clean something. But at the end of the day, we actually have to set aside time to clean and undo that sort of mess. Because as we go through our day, we're making a mess. <laughs> We're always as we're if we're if we plan on just cleaning as we go through our day and do all of our other things, it's the best you can get is balance. But truly speaking, that's not going to happen. So are you saying that 
We need to build in time every day for an examination mm -hmm. of conscience. Yeah. And then we need to build into our routine. So we need to do two things. We need to build into our daily routine an examination of conscience. Yeah. It only needs to be two minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we need to build into our routine once a month confession mm -hmm. connected to the five first Saturdays yeah. of reparation. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you've got to get ahead of it by doing it every day. But also you have to go through and set a time aside time for those deep cleans, those preparing for confession, doing this continuously. And I, I, I know a lot of people will say the confession times at mass don't work for me, uh, for my state in life. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have kids who have sports there Saturday afternoon when the, your church has confession uh, or whatever the reason, don't be afraid to ask your priest for an appointment for confession. You, you have no problem calling your doctor and setting up an appointment during the week. The priest is the spiritual doctor. Don't be afraid to set an appointment with him. Yeah. Well, Teresa, thank you for the conversation. Thank you. Let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.